Hi everybody, thanks for joining us today. Uh, I'm Scott Laprad, the Application Supervisor here at GenSwiss. And I'm Bill Fletcher, I'm the Northeast Regional Manager for GenSwiss. Today we're going to have a little chat about uh, our signature line of products. Uh, one that's one of my, uh, well I say this about a lot of our products being our favorites, but this one truly is one of our favorites. This is a GenSwiss original that we had introduced uh, probably going back about 10 years ago or so. And it's a really nice problem solver for uh, users of not only Swiss type machines, but anybody using micro tooling uh, in high precision applications uh, in their equipment. Um, so the first one we'll start with is our Tylock end mill extension. This is kind of the main product of the, uh, of the Tylock product line. Um, but the way that these, these work is uh, they've got a precision bore on them that you direct mount uh, micro end mills to. Okay. It's got a very interesting shank on it. I mean, it's shaped like a collet. So it's, how does that work? Exactly. It's shaped like a collet. So these would install into any of your live rotary positions in the machine. And as many Swiss uh, operators are familiar, you've got so much stroke that you can bring that tool down uh, towards the guide bushing. And you've also got the mm -hmm. guide bushing rotary assembly that's usually there. Bringing out a small end mill that far to clear all that to reach center of your workpiece, if you have to reach center, can be troublesome, especially when you've got adjacent tools that are significantly larger than the working tool that you're holding in the tie lock. So imagine having, uh, let's say you've got uh, your cross working tools on, on your Swiss machine. You've got a, like a 3 8 end mill in one position and immediately adjacent to that, you've got an eighth inch end mill with maybe a 40 thousandths cutting diameter, but sure. on an eighth inch shank, usually you would have to stick that pretty far out from the live tool. With these, you can chuck up on the shank of it and it's all integrated as one piece so you've got the rigidity of the extension all direct mounted into an ER taper. Yeah, so this is basically, instead in lieu of using a traditional ER collet, what you're doing now is you're combining uh, an ER collet and you're including some additional support and reach for your, your wide variety of small micro tools. Yeah, any kind of micro tools. Um, there's some other really nice side effects to it. I mean, that's the primary function of it is, is the rigidity, but there's some really nice additional uh, uh, side features to it that uh, a lot of people have realized is a, is a good benefit. They're, they're all internally stopped. There's an adjustment in there that you can actually bring up against the backside of the shank. Can you preset these? You can preset these. Oh, that's beautiful. Yep. You can simply uh, have these preset offline and almost use them as quick change. Mm -hmm. uh, or another really interesting way of uh, uh, employing them is while it's installed in your live tool, rather than breaking the holding nut free from the live okay. tool, you can just simply loosen the screws that hold the shank of the micro tool, take that uh, micro tool out, put a fresh one back in up against the stop and lock it back in. Now you don't have to get a big wrench into the machine up against sure. your live tool, up against the you know, precision uh, fragile tooling that you've got uh, working in your, in your rotary positions. So this actually says, this has an adjustable positive stop on the inside mm -hmm. where the shank of the tool is going to go down into. Mm -hmm. And the ID of these is a very tight tolerance. So I'm assuming the fit of the shank of the tools it's going to be very stable. Yes, it's a very it's a very tight tolerance on the ID of all of these. It's it's you have to fit a nominal shank size. So, eighth inch shank, three millimeter shank. Uh, depending on the ER taper, we go up to as large as I think quarter inch in a couple of cases. Uh, but where these really shine is anytime you got to work with anything that's uh, like an eighth inch or smaller. So eighth inch and three millimeters tends to be the most popular ones that we offer. Okay, 0.118 or your traditional one eight one two five. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, Quite a range of the bases. Uh, it starts at ER8. ER8, yep. And uh, with the ER8 ones, they're actually, they include their own special holding nut. So okay. that's another really big deal with these is you don't have to have special holding nuts in most cases mm -hmm. because uh, this, this diameter here is small enough to fit through a, a regular uh, uh, ER standard uh, holding nut. Okay. The ER8 is a little bit different example. Um, that one includes the holding nut, but every other every other one of them works with whatever your live tool was already equipped with. And that's a bit of a uh, now I understand that's a bit of a snap fit. It clicks into position. Yeah. So you, yeah. So you can see there's a small, uh, almost like a keyway. Oh sure. Or a flat on the uh, on the yeah. secondary taper here, and that would simply go into the nut and click itself. Oh, click over. it into position. Yeah, click okay. it into position. Great. So uh, yeah, really easy to work with and don't require anything special as far as like tooling goes in order to utilize it in the machines. Nice. So the base is what? ER8, ER11, ER 11, 11, 16, 16, 20, and I think 
up to 25. 25 on, on the these. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And uh, beyond just the regular catalog offering, I mean, this one here is kind of like the odd duck in this pile. Um, one guy did have a request for something that was exceptionally long in a milling center. Okay. So he needed to get down inside of a recess with a small uh, micro end mill. Very, very precision work down deep in a bore. We were, main, we were maintaining really good TIR way out here from his spindle bearings. So do I, on, on the standards, these will be on a max TIR of two tenths? That's about what we guarantee. Wow, yes. yeah, that's really, that's amazing to be able to have all that stability out there. And we're holding that, that uh, accuracy that far out over an ER, a regular traditional ER call it. So over a greater set distance, there's uh, an increased accuracy as well. Yeah, and the other thing I understand with this product line is they actually make this system where you can extend or reach out a collet. So you can use this as a base and there's an extension where you might go from, uh, let's say, an, a 16 base and then extend out and have a, a holder out at the end. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. I almost forgot about those. Yeah. So yeah, in a couple of cases we do have, it's a taper to taper kind of a situation. Yeah. So you'd have the R16 base maybe a 25 millimeter one inch extension or so, and then an ER8 in the end of that, which utilizes a regular traditional collet in that case. So that one gives you some versatility. You don't have to stick to only eighth inch shanks when utilizing that holder. So you can still use a traditional collet, but your collet now has been extended out in, in, in a very stable, very tight tolerance tool, and then you can use that for your micro. Yeah. But I would think that that would be a great advantage, particularly where you needed the extra reach, but you were dealing with some very small shank tools. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool, yep. interesting. So that's that's been a really big hit over the years, and uh, there's a couple situations we've had, uh, uh, end user ends up trying just one unit, and then comes back and equips the whole shop with them, simply because they had operators fighting over who got to use it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great. I, the, the, the fact that you can preset them is just a, a fantastic thing for uh, an operator to be able to uh, get the tool, have it running, and have that option of being able to pop these in and out already preset, or if it's simply the situation where you can unset the set screws and remove the tool and replace and yeah. go back to that positive stop. So there's some great options there. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, the other part, we'll move on from the end mill extensions here. The other part of the product line uh, is we also offer the Tylock series of, uh, of products for uh, holding saw blades. So the same benefits over here with, with, the, with the saw blades is you, you got repeatable positioning. It's all one piece, so it reduces tolerance stacking that you would have with a regular straight shank arbor. Um, gives you a, the same location for the saw edge every time you do a setup. Okay. So you don't have to worry about it being up or down a little bit, you know, in the, in the live tool. Um, they're all precision ground as well. So just like the end mill extensions, we precision grind the saw journal and the taper on these. Uh, so you get very good, accurate TAR. Um, and those come in a wide range of sizes as well, as well as various lengths. So in, in many cases, uh, if you're looking at, at a particular size where it might be say, for example, an ER16, mm -hmm. uh, it might come with a uh, eight millimeter diameter uh, journal for saw blades. Uh, but in a uh, 15 or a 25 millimeter reach. So depending on the machine and the position you're going to put it in, it's very accommodating to not fall outside of the stroke limit for the equipment. So you got a very, very tight tolerance uh, saw arbor that you can work with. And if I understand this correctly, uh, because these are made right here at Gen Swiss in Westfield, Massachusetts, um, you also have the ability to make custom versions of these. Yeah, so we've done many custom ones where somebody might need to do a, a really good example is like a heat sink. We'll have customers who make like a heat sink mm -hmm. as their workpiece, and that's a lot of uh, slits and some aluminum. Okay. And to speed up that process, we could stack blades on one of these arbors to like two, three, or four, depending on the operation or the application, how deep the cut is, how wide the blades are. But that saves a lot of time. And in a situation like that, that might not even be a Swiss style turning at, or Swiss style machining um, operation, but it's another place where you can use this product. This is one of those great products because it can be used in small precision part manufacturing environments such as Swiss, but it also makes the big jump into the traditional mm -hmm. uh, CNC shop, which uh, for larger um, machines, this is still a great advantage you can use those in those machines. Yeah, if you got to hold small tools in a very accurate way inside of a large machining center, this is a good solution. Excellent. A lot of versatility there. 
surface finishes are absolutely beautiful on these as well. So, very nice. Yeah. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, Scott. Learned something today.